Hiya. I've got a couple of things to show you quick. I'm going to do a, a neutral tutorial. Um, firstly, this stuff here, Cuticura Hand Hygiene Gel. It really is absolutely gorgeous. You just put it on instead of washing your hands if you're on the run. You have a plastic in your handbag. If you're not near a tap, it's just brilliant. It's a clear gel. Put it on and it dries all by itself. And it smells a little bit alcoholic, but you can really feel it strip your hands and clean them. Um, I like that stuff. If you can get some dead cheap, brilliant. Other thing, quick. New product, which I'm going to try out. I'll show you inside. It's called Outdoor Girl. It's a new brand. I've never come across it before. But I'm going to do a new look with them. Probably something with the top one, that one, and maybe the bottom. These two. So, let's get going. But, because my skin is so... How do I put it? Greasy, maybe? I'm going to have to put some primer on. And my primer is just bare canvas paint by MAC just to get the eye ready for the colours. So I'm just going to apply this all over the eyelid right up to the eyebrow. This acts as a great base especially with the colour that we're going to do today. The hand gel smells so fresh. It's lovely. Right, now that you've applied the bare canvas all over your eyelid, up your brow, I'm going to, oh, and this as well. Gosh Cosmetics, I'm really, really, really digging this stuff. It's brilliant. I uh, finally ventured in again the brushes, so I got that one, because I don't have one like that before, for the creases. So we're going to apply with the brushes I have already. We're going to do, if I can find one ready. Ten to one, there won't be one ready. Mm, nope. Right, I'm just gonna. This has still got plumage on. I wore plumage earlier, just on its own. It's not a very mixy colour, I don't find. Anyway, we're going to apply that colour all over, which is retro spec. So we're going to apply that all over the eye. This stuff is lovely, but because I'm used to using MAC, the MAC's far more pigmented. So to me, this, it's just not cutting the cheese. It's not as colourful. I'm going to apply it with the little thing I got with it, a little applicator, see if this makes a difference. Maybe it's just new brush. Mm. A little bit, but nothing to scream about. But never mind. The colours are beautiful. But I'll just hold the show up for you. Mm. Right, we're going to apply with the, gosh, crease smudge. The top one, which is caffeinated. This is just going to be a neutral smoky eye for everyday use. Well, I like this caffeinated. That noise in the back isn't me, it's the pug, just cleaning my privates, it's not nice. In fact it's gross. <laughs> so just smudge the dark colour into the crease and blend it out. That's not showing up how it looks on the camera. By the way, the other one I got, which I'll do something with if the colours are good, is the green one. Hangover, grass, minted, jealous, acid and guilty. So give them a go next time as well. I know GHD, yeah. GHD's like a green, so we'll do something for her. That's just me. I'll be right, let's fall into pieces. Stick my back there, right. So, we've done the crease smudge. Now we're going to take the liquid liner, MAC liquid liner, and we're going to line the upper lash line. This is a very, very neutral look, so you're not going to see much. But, and I've just made a little mess, but I get lots and lots of requests for the neutral look. The 
other side isn't thick enough. Hmm. It is now. <laughs> right, quick, we need to get rid of this. We take a wet wipe. And we'll get rid of this horrible, horrible clown spot. Now, look, I'm not wearing anything, foundation wise. I'll get put on afterwards. So that's a basic smoky, neutral. And then we're going to underline it with a little bit of bountiful brown. Pearl point. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to use the crease brush again and we're going to put some more caffeinated along the bottom lash line. Really smoke this, let this look out. I love this brush. When you're doing this, try not to put the brush on your eyelid, like on your eyeball, like I have. Because then you get powder inside your eye, which all collects near your tear duct and really embarrasses you when you're out with your friends. So you've got something awful in the corner of your eye. There we go. We should have seen more. Very basic smoky look. Now today we're going to finish the eyebrows off with a little bit of my trusted Rimmel eye eyebrow pencil. I love. It's got a little brush on the end so I can brush out the eyebrow. And we're going to add a little bit of blush. Not too much because I want this to be a nice neat little look. This is the right one. So we're going to put a little bit of this one on. I'm not sure the name. I think it's Tenderlin. We'll bugger it. We'll have a look. It's Tenderlin. So we're going to use a little bit of Tenderling. Now I know for certain face shapes, if you're plump, you would just apply it here. So you get that chiselled look and it defines this line. If you've got killer cheekbones, you can put it anywhere you want really. If you're very square, you would go across here and a little way down. There's different ways. I'm going to look into it for you and get back to you on that one. I'm plump, so I'm going to do that. And kick it off with a nice little bit of lip gloss. Not too much because we're going to be neutral. In fine china. Oops. That went on the keyboard. And hey, we forgot one mascara. Can't be having that. So let's do the mascara before my time runs out. Well, apart from the floating eye shadow inside my eye, because I touched my eye with the brush, it looks very nice. Eyes a little bit sore. Remember to tip your head back for the top lashes, and when you're doing the down ones, and the, sorry, the underneath ones, Make sure you bring your head forward and look down. Now this stops you from catching the skin and ending up with a mess, so we're going to give it a go. I know every time I do it, I tend to get away with it. Hey, I like this look. Okay, I'm done. And it didn't take five seconds. <laughs> Well, thanks for the request for this look. I think I've learned something new as well. Don't always have to be colourful. I think um, this would be an everyday look for a casual going out with your friends, work, going for a meal at the restaurant or whatever. And if you're going nightclubbing, you'd go with the funky colours. But this is a casual, everyday, smoky, brown look, neutral. And I really hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.